Hello everyone, welcome to Advanced Elite. In today's video, we are diving into the world of SAP plant maintenance. And especially, we will be looking at the process of creating functional location. Functional locations are a key element in managing assets and maintenance activities within SAP PM. So let's jump right in. Before we begin creating functional locations, let's understand what are they. In SAP PM, a function location represents a specific location or an area where maintenance activities are carried out. It could be a building, a room, a specific piece of equipment, or any identifiable part of your organization structure. To get started, log into your SAP system. I will be already logged into my SAP system. You will find it you will find the relevant transaction in SAP Easy Access screen for functional location. To create functional location, we can use T code IL01 and tap Enter key or click this Execute button. You go to Create Functional Location. Or you can use this SAP Easy Access menu. Go to Logistics. Under Logistics, go to Plant Maintenance. Under Plant Maintenance, go to Management of Technical Object. Management of Technical Object. Under that, go to Functional Location. Under that, we can see the Create. So double tap it. Go to Create Functional Location Initial Screen. In here, we have to enter it with the hierarchical menu. To create in that hierarchical menu, we have to go, go to SPRO. Go there. We'll be go to a new screen. Type SPRO. Press Enter. Go to SAP Reverse IMG. In here, go to Plant Maintenance and customer services. Under that, go to master data in plant maintenance and customer services. In there, go to technical objects. In there, go to functional location. And we can see create structure indicator for reference locations slash functional locations. Go there. And we can create a new entry bar. We could be using a standard on giving from SAT which is YBTN. And it could be have an edit mask in this structure. This will be represent the hierarchical levels of this functional location. What are these hierarchical levels? You have to first identify, you can easily identify with this image. So these hierarchical levels are indicating plant level, Department level, location level, sub department level, and operating area. Or you simply, this is the water plant, and the water plant we have a cleaning water department. Under that, we can have the location. Under that, we can have a sub department and the operating area, a machinery, or working center area. We can have a structure identification according to your business requirement. Make sure there are a couple of indicators like in here. X means that it will be alphanumeric. So you can use both letters and numbers. For the A represent alphabetic, you can use letters only. N means numbers. You can only use numbers only. So let's dive in and create in this structural indicator. You can go further. Let's go into creating a functional location. In here, first you have to create the highest level functional location. I will be creating 116. And the functional location category as the our technical system, this will be standard. 
or you can use the custom allocation like case. You can customize this according to your business requirement. Press enter. Now you will be going to create in function location master data screen. In here, you have to enter a description. I'll be using company one one and then six. And most of these object types and class authorization group, weight, size and dim dimensions, inventory number, startup date, or ship not type, these are coming later to allocate uh, equipment to your functional location. You can enter startup date from this functional location as and go to next tab location tab in here you have you can enter the maintenance plan or plan section in this tab you can enter the maintenance plan or oh, if it, it has a specific location and a room, you can enter in here, but it will be advisable to enter them in your lowest level, hierarchical level functional locations. Go to organization, it will be to the company code automatically. A business area, if there is a business area, you can enter in here and also the cost centers. It will be very important to enter a cost center because under that cost center, your maintenance will be covered by the cost center. So I will be entering a cost center. It has to be creating from your financial accounting team. Please tap enter and it will be automatically get that information from your system. Go to structure. And we can see that it has the structural indicator automatically correct from in here. And install space. If you tick this, we can implement the equipment under this functional location. Otherwise, if you are not tick this, you can't enter equipment under this functional location. So this will be the very quickly guidance to your creating functional location. After everything is verified when validated, press save button. So it will be giving our a message calling functional location 1996 was created. If you want to change any information in 1996 functional location you have been created recently go to IL02 change functional location initial screen enter your functional location enter and you can change permission now go back if you want to display the, your functional location that already have been created, go to IL03, enter your functional location, you need to be displayed, press enter, and you can see the information. In this status, you can't change anything. You have to press this button to move into the change screen. And there you have it. Creating a functional location in SAP PM is a fundamental step in effective asset management. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions or if there are specific SAP topics you like to us to cover in the future, let us know in comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you find it useful. Subscribe for more SAP tutorials. It will be help our channel grow more and ring that bell to get notified when we post a new content.
Thank you for watching and I will see you in next video. Have a nice day.